Panama is my home in the darkness. I arrived here from Panama when I was seven. I am no longer seven. Now I am four. I extrapolate consciousness from numbers to form interiors arranged by sevens to infinity as archaic design. All my books are about Panama in some way, beyond geography, beyond topology and algebra, grown from there as ontology, as spiritual state, as Saloma, a reflection of, as a place of many fishes, as a place of many butterflies, with orchids of all colors and patterns. Panama is a cubit, the quantum, the in-between. It is a bridge of the world, the snake. It connects the oceans through the sea and links the hemispheres as a center of the bicycle of the earth and of the mind of the earth. From a tall, thin hill there, I find the only entry and the only exit for the Tecumseh Republic. Through circles, I am a tech, I am a tech Panamanian nationalist with nation as being time, Dogen as gourd pattern through a tropical lung, formless and without borders. Panama is my home in the darkness and it sees through the face and through the interface as we move past the screen and arrive to the four sevens inside of Abya Yala. Death is between us. I become the night when the stars fade into the sea. My patterns of straw on the plants is adorned with blood clots at every crossing and musical numbers that shatter a first relation. This morning, I awaken to another constellation. As I see, I remember the sacred animals. I cut myself into ribbons and I give the organs of my isolate languages to the bears. We do not wear away the rivers. If I ever speak again, I will say that I am not the center of the target and that my other body replaces the news with solitary depths and entanglements. The rivers inside me are the reason and we do not know the country or its veneer, the shadow placed inside us to sound out the miraculous insubordinations that we are to wear away the red earth of our absences. Without me, you will see that others know the answers to history and that history will begin to dissolve in the morning. As we shadow the night, when I walk outside the light, I erase myself to be the breathing soil to be the oceans. We do not turn our connections and the sounds of the earth to the body bears and the weed coyotes without words and texts and the stars of expansion that we negotiate with as something places us inside the atmosphere and welcomes the dust that I close, the desperate songs of sorrow with and the page that must be torn becomes again in every way. I am no longer with you. In every way, I separate myself from vital bales of straw to accept that I must speak to the door as a faint aroma of our disappearances have made the world blink only twice. The support of endurance and of our sound symbology bring us to the simple collapse of the anointed spirals of the seashells as they as we inside are tied into the hatred of another, which is a fire that does not burn. Please eclipse my other bodies as they must not be found. In the struggle to speak like a cut, all our destinations now are dear as we hold the darkness of the tropics in our minds and split the red and the black snake in the center of its circles like the equator does the earth. Our memories evaporate. We do not relate the night again. And as we all endure and betray 
the innocent contradictions, and as we never wake through the seasons of a mur murderous adornment, the sun must stop us before we turn to the night, and the center of the earth awaits us in the battlefield where we are lost with the, with the exception of the bites of the flowers. Do not call me by your languages. I explode now to invent the darker reasons for alliance and the exit of the mind to nowhere. Bring the sand again as I do not enforce my own face to the password of the agency of the salt of the other's terror. Be the light, unknot our failures, and be the source of fire forever. Please, we must become black rose in the northern pines. I have arrived to my destination. I make a circuit and I make a circle to the whole of a life in two and three. My numbers have coagulated every mile into an inch of dust below each symbol of the sun's scorched palm. But the blood keeps pouring and the other worlds are in the pulse on the side of the path in the blaring sun. As I set my eyes still again upon the landscape of grass and ferns blowing and scorched by reflections of the ring line of the sun, death does not negotiate and it never knows the punctuation of incisions, horrible keys to my own silence. But the pulse, I walk among you, but I am not, and still I am not. I ride among you, and I am two circles, and every morning my two loves weave the days ahead for us to follow. That's my two loves right there. <laughs> in the simple pleasure of a touching circle made of three and four and seven. Tender molecules of travel through every moment. Time does not go away, though again is gourd pattern. I am pooled and I am the force of desperation from decades of immobility and crushing disconnection. But look, now I go to the shelter where every moment is music in the storms of the sea, but I do not connect. And silence is what silence was, and now my mind is shred for the falling sun, as I do not know how I will follow. I do not know the word that does not say. I mean the page of my body with the two fires of everything inside me. It is her and it is she in a sphere of the morning, in a place that we do not stand inside of, but the place is there inside the night, warm and quiet in the darkness. I have made one to become. A kingfisher path for an origin state. Many rivers have knotted, them, knotted, knotted themselves for the kingfisher of my nighttime wash in the distance to have a stand again among the pines that fall and do not know the water. Every time I see that there is a call to make the light stand in color and to put off the rooster that crows there in a distant galaxy known by the others as the kingfisher without the bigger people of America. In this, my red and black starlight that sees a kingfisher and does not know it. In this that I unravel for a table that stands between us, I swim back to the skeletal shore. Through these lines I must see that the bigger people of America have lost themselves in the asterisk in the center of darkness that I unravel to call my own. In the kingfisher story, there's nothing of the lake of the atmospheres that we must dissolve to remain otherwise in our meaning and the last not made for tomorrow. All of us now look to the red and the black before the suffering of the night makes us flesh again 
by the roadside, to live in the net of exception. All, all of our minds are ripped to exclaim that, that the kingfisher gives the eagle, the osprey, and the loon, because I am the loon again, to make circles and spheres remain in the morning, as the desperation of all the televisions rots. My numbers have not known it. I am not seen by the shore that I calculate as ours for the robots behind the kingfisher stories that call us to begin again outside tomorrow. I do not see the kingfisher. I do not know it, except long ago as I lost the shore of your mind to the water. My door retains itself to keep mourning within the night. I dissolve the numbers again as I do not lure the fish for the kingfisher. The kingfisher is a bird that I knew was here. It is the omen that I carry through war in the service of my reception to the morning, as we all must delete the faces that do not receive when something comes to start. My radio needs the heart of the kingfisher too, as we all follow the semblance of night, with the semblance of morning, delayed without the earth. We walk and we inject the water with animal intimacies as we speak to make lines become our entrance to the exit of life. Something moves there as we are to receive it. But I do not know the kingfisher. I do not know that there are others who have moved inside us to wash out the oceans to the sea as we must make ourselves a body of destination. Our bodies become like origins and, not, and are not in the service of parchment, parched and dying of thirst to the problems that serve as the keys to the mountain. With the death of the kingfisher there in the egg of its origin, headed for the fountain of light. My escapes have become like the service of every answer, of the separation that dissolves to make us come together in squares of electrocutions, headed to discover the other world far inside the earth, A for the start and Y for the middle, Avia to mean and Yala to hold in the darkness. A last time song. All of this for a move inside to put off the lesions of the face, the motionless interface that becomes us, to slough away nights full of numbers and shirts soaked in blood. Sometimes the faces fall off to return with Damascus steel knives, to the number of four and the path that we make with our shells from afar to a seven of silence and dreams of an earth-like relation to jaguars and dogs as we wander and bring ourselves back to the ground. But in everything then, there are batteries to dissolve expectation, to stop and become and believe as we stand with the mounds and their sorrowful mornings and bring up the songs that we follow to wander in sevens and be like the night in the presence of flowers all of us gone for the palms is what follows. The crossing defers as a seven, as I am a wandering four, to belong with you here after sorrow. I loathe to belong with the dog, our Maya of wholeness, as I wander with reptiles and sing my last songs for what follows. The meaning of Abia and Yala's form, for the darkness and kindly felt warmth to hold on. Thank you.